Does not disappoint Paul wrote to the Romans. Because the love of God has been poured out within our hearts through the Holy Spirit who is given to us. Romans 5 5. You know, we were having a chat with some people on board, I guess yesterday or the day before, and it was an unsaved fellow, and, and he started talking about, I think it was a Jewish couple from Brooklyn, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. They were talking about how in this day and age they're seeing such a lack of character, character. Yeah. in young people. I said, well, Certainly. I mean, there's a, there's a good worldly understanding of this. Here in Romans 5.5, 5, it goes on to say that there's a process. If we, if we rejoice, exult in our tribulations, that leads to perseverance. You know, it goes on. In perseverance, it leads to proven character. And that leads to hope. And hope does not disappoint. But the fact of the matter is, after the Second World War, now, I'm a child. I'm a war baby. I was born during the middle of the Second World War. And I know, you know, you don't have to be a great sociologist or have a doctorate in sociology to, to recognize. After the Second World War, these men and women who sacrificed so much during that war, all of a sudden, they wanted everything nice, comfortable, and easy for their children. So they took away the tribulations. They took away the discipline. And you know what winds up lacking? Character. Character. And the thing that lacks after that is hope. And we're living in a time when there is a hopeless generation. Yes. I was reading in a news article just the other day that the greatest killer mm. of teenage children in the United States of America is suicide. Terrific. The ultimate act of desperation. Yes. How can that be in the land of yes. plenty? And but it is because it's not about hope. plenty. Yeah. It's not about stuff. It's not about things. It is about the love of God that comes through learning that process because God disciplines those whom he loves. If he doesn't discipline you, you're not his child. But the other thing about that, it says in Hebrews chapter 12, is that his discipline makes us partakers of his holiness. So... Please receive this the way I give it. Don't be too easy on your children. <laughs> Don't. Because what you're doing is you're harming them. Bring them up in the ways they should go. And they'll not depart from it when they're old. Hallelujah. Weeping may last for a night. But joy cometh in the morning. Psalms 30, verse 5.